Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Beyond Horizons and I really thank everybody for giving me your valuable comments and at the same time requesting for a lot of videos. Yes, I am preparing them one by one and if you want any new videos, please do put your comments in it so that I can work on it one by one. And today we are going to see an interesting topic that is power world simulator and in power world simulator how you are supposed to create a single line diagram okay and it's an introduction about power world simulator what are the options you have what are the opportunities and what are the add-ons you have while using power world simulator okay and i hope everybody is ready so i and if you want to know how to download power world simulator i have given a brief video which you can check out in the link which will be up on the left or on the right corner and you can also check in the description of the how to download power world or i can give it in the description of this video as well okay and there are certain plans that i can come live and teach certain uh, modeling on live as per the requests but i will post everything on the community tab so you can go have a check and you can um, you know you can reply me over there as well and welcome back once again uh, to the power world simulator and this power world simulator is a powerful tool where all the system engineers and many students are using power world simulator why because it is very very easy and you have plenty of options okay there are plenty of options plenty of simulations just in one that's the most interesting part of it you can do uh, transient stability you can do dynamic studies you can do an optimal power flow you can do a cost analysis you can do abc that is available transfer capability then you can determine the pv and the qv curves and whatnot okay that is the main usefulness of this power world simulator and here there as you can see my mouse moving this is file and how do you create a new file so basically if you are there are two modes okay let me get to the modes and then come to the file so there are two modes one is run mode and one is edit mode so edit mode is the place where we will be drawing the diagrams and everything while simulating and running we will be using the run mode but where are we supposed to draw everything is blank so here you click on file and then already there are some test cases given as an example in the older versions you can use it okay you don't see anything so you just have to minimize or just scroll up you will find the system so how are you supposed to draw the system and how will you get all these where will you get there's nothing like that i don't even have the uh, you know pinned up diagrams there or the pinned up generator or load all the elements there where will i go and search yes this question was there in almost everybody's mind so how go to file okay first of all create a new case so there'll be a blue box coming up saying a new file is opened okay and if you want to save it you can click on file and you can say save case as and you can save it okay and while saving there will be two files which will be saved i'll tell you in the next video why there are two files can i use just one and use the values or not okay so for now we will learn about how to create a single line diagram okay so you have in the edit mode you have case information which tells you what are the details you have in your uh, in your network okay but since we have not drawn anything so let's go to draw and here you have auto insert default drawing but you have network here 
and click on it you have bus generator load switch trunk transmission line transformer series capacitor dc transmission line three winding transformer dc fax devices and the topology like ring breaker and a half then double bus and double breaker okay let me draw a quick uh, two bus system so i click on bus and click in here so all the details will be loaded up here so we can give the bus number and the voltage maybe i am giving a 230 kv and you can see the orientation whether you want it at the left side or the right side how it should be okay you save and say okay so this will be up here and then i want another bus so i'll get another bus and i'll put it here and I'll, so since you've named i mean since you've marked the nominal voltage to be 230 this also comes up as 230 but this time instead of left i want it up okay and you click on save and you go ahead so it will be up like this okay and how do you connect both of them yes of course you need a transmission line so click on it this is the strum end so go ahead with like this then just can get connected to the second and just double click it so you can enter the parameters this is the from bus and the to bus and you can enter in um, a lower value of reactance and you can save it and okay but if you want to edit more details the parameters you can enter the resistance and the reactance value uh, the shunt charging and the conductance value and uh, this is the fault infos that is when you're doing short circuit analysis then you can zone your generators then you have stability analysis where in stability analysis you can add in the generator types like gensat gensal okay and you know different types of generators not only generators but you have plenty of controllers and lot more which i will be doing it in the next video and ge geography is like which place it is and all those details you can key in okay so i'm giving a save then the next part so okay you have two buses and a line but is that enough how will you supply power of course you need a generator so connect it just click on it you would get the generator you can set the generator set point and here also you can give it for available agc whether and open or close that is in the case of halt we can try open so that the generator will be disconnected and we have the base mva that is 100 okay you click on and you have the power and voltage this entire thing you can, for the cost analysis you have we can do the cubic cost model or the piecewise linear model you can enter all the parameters then the zoning part is here then you have like the customized part all of these like whether you want three dots whether you want four dots after after the value so all those comes up here okay i click quickly save so you can see the generator right up here and this um, basically it's not right so double click on the generator you see down but you can give up and save and okay so that will be perfect around it okay and if you want you can just move click on this bus and move a little bit so it will be easy enough okay and these values are meant to be there you can put them there and here you can add up a load as well so we have a load just connect it and we can give the load value to be 120 okay i'll just save and I'm, I'm just giving rough values but look at it load has collapsed it's not on the proper way so you can just double click on it and change the orientation to the right okay so you know your one line diagram has to give you all the details which is required okay so be very careful in choosing that and if you want to have some big numbers or if you want to see it very clearly you can just drag it and drop it see this is slightly crooked you can just change it and you can uh, just click click on it and just try 
just try aligning it okay just try aligning and it it should be fine later part it will be fine okay so this is how you do a single line diagram and you have plenty of options when going to the run mode okay and when you're going to the run mode you can see automatically this is getting executed you can see 200 megawatt then this is the slack and it's passing through this line and there are no losses and it's supplying the load okay so this is all about how to draw a single line diagram using power world analysis and uh, friends do subscribe for more videos and more contents so once you subscribe you will get access to all the new contents which i'm doing which i'll be posting it in regular intervals one will be on monday every monday and the next will be on every thursdays so mondays and thursdays please keep looking for more videos on power system analysis and as well you have my shots video all for motivation and new um, informations thank you very much and cheers please do like share and subscribe to my channel and regards from nidhi take care bye